Welcome to the midweek message. We're taking some lessons from Ecclesiastes chapter 3. I'm reading verses 12 through 14 from the New International Version of the Bible. Solomon said in verse 12 of chapter 3, I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they live, that each of them may eat and drink and find satisfaction in all their toil. This is the gift of God. I know that everything God does will endure forever. Nothing can be added to it and nothing taken from it. God does it so that people will fear him. We'll look at these individually. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 12. I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they live. Solomon is reaching a conclusion that is based on his uh, findings that life is meaningless in all pursuits. And he says that it's good for people to do the things that make them happy, but that, that it is better to do good than to do bad. And this is a common thinking among many people, uh, religious or otherwise. People should uh, act virtuously, but also try to make themselves happy. Verse 13, that each of them may eat and drink and find satisfaction in all their toil. This is the gift of God. And so if a person has a satisfying life, that is God's gift to them. And, and those words are true. Verse 14, I know that everything God does will endure forever. Nothing can be added to it and nothing taken from it. God does it so that people will fear him. In the end result, Solomon said that only what God has enabled people to do is what they are uh, able to do or able to accomplish. Uh, God's power uh, gives him enablement in life in every area, me and you alike. He says, I know that what God does will last forever and nothing can be added to what God has done. Nothing can be taken from what God has done. God is sovereign so that all people will fear him. When we look at ourselves in the proper way, that all our empowerment and all our enablement comes from God. When we understand that, it leads us to a reverence of God that we cannot attain by simply human reasoning and human efforts.